How and Where to Buy Gold Bars, The Gold Buying Guide, written by Jeff Clark, Senior Precious Metals Analyst at GoldSilver.com, read by Mike Maloney. If you're looking to invest in physical gold at the lowest possible price per ounce, there's no better choice than gold bars. Coins may be more attractive, but all that manufacturing and packaging comes at a price. Gold bars, on the other hand, are the stalwart of the industry, what everyone, from average investors to central banks, buy and store. In other words, you can't go wrong buying gold bars, provided you follow four basic tips. Tip number one, the advantage of buying gold bars. You'll get more ounces for your money with gold bars than coins. The primary reason investors choose a gold bar is that it's less expensive than a gold coin. Premiums are lower on bars because coins have a more intricate design and thus greater labor and machining costs. Coins may be prettier, but you'll pay extra for that appeal. The other advantage of gold bars is that they're easier to store. A gold bar takes up less space than the same number of ounces of coins. In fact, bars were originally designed specifically for ease of storage. Buying gold bars doesn't compromise any of the core advantages of gold. They're portable, private, liquid, and will last forever. Tip number two. Pick the best gold bar size for you. Buy one ounce gold bars to meet future needs as they come up. If you have a high net worth, buy both small and large bars. One of the first decisions you'll have to make when buying gold bars is what size to purchase. Gold bars come in different sizes and weights. They're as small as one gram, sometimes called wafers because they're so thin, and as big as 400 ounces. It's these larger sizes that central banks, exchanges, and the exchange-traded funds, ETFs, buy. Generally speaking, the bigger the bar, the smaller the premium. That's because, ounce for ounce, it's less costly to produce a kilo gold bar than a one ounce gold bar. But that doesn't necessarily mean you should buy the heaviest bar you can afford. Just the opposite, in fact. Big bars do not offer the divisibility smaller ones do. When you sell a big bar, you're liquidating a sizable investment. It's more practical to sell multiple smaller bars to exchange the exact amount of gold for the exact amount of currency you need. Also, big bars have fewer potential buyers. Not many investors can afford to buy, say, a 100 ounce bar. If you have smaller sized bars, you'll have a greater pool of customers available to you. Small bars have lower counterfeiting risk. Counterfeiters prefer big bars because they're worth a lot more. Small bars avoid the need for an assay. The bigger the bar, the more likely it will require an assay to be sold. An assay adds extra expense, is inconvenient, and will delay your payout. If you want large bars, you may want to consider storing them with a professional third-party vaulting service. The bars that are within the vaulting service either come directly from gold refineries or are assayed upon entering the vaulting system. Therefore, they are not suspect and do not need to be assayed to be sold. In fact, metals that are held in professional storage accounts, such as Gold Silver's Vault Storage Program, are much more liquid than metals held at home and can be bought and sold instantly over the internet with no assay. Another benefit is that they are 100% insured. The most common size of large bar is the kilo bar. These are popular among high net worth investors and more practical to sell than 100 ounce and 400 ounce sizes, which probably should only be purchased if you're investing a million dollars or more. The advantage of buying a large gold bar is that the premium will be smaller, but you lose the other advantages when you purchase the biggest bar you can. High net worth investors could buy large bars provided they also have some bars denominated in smaller weights. On the other hand, it's not very practical to buy a lot of gold in bars smaller than one ounce, as the premiums are significantly higher. If you can't afford to buy more than one ounce of gold, then consider buying a few smaller bars so you capture the advantages above. Either way, owning gold is better than not owning gold. So the first step in knowing what to look for when buying gold bars is to find the correct sizes for your needs. The second step to look for when buying gold bars is the stamping and hallmark. Tip number three, gold bar brands matter. Choose wisely. Buy only gold bars with a recognized hallmark and proper stamping. Proper stamping and a recognized hallmark mean you're getting a reputable gold bar. 
There are some private mints in the world that don't include all of this information, which could mean it's not a pure gold bar or has low quality. It's important that you know how to make sure your gold is real. Stamping. A reputable gold bar should have its weight, purity, refiner, and a registration number stamped on it. It's important to buy gold bars with these markings. Without them, you don't know what you're getting, and a future buyer may demand an assay. There's an easy way to assure your gold bar has a proper stamping, and that's to buy bars with a reputable hallmark. A hallmark simply refers to the brand of the bar, the refiner or manufacturer that minted that bar. You'll want a recognized hallmark so that you know you're getting a high-quality bar and also so that you'll have no difficulty selling it. A good hallmark will allow you to sell a bar virtually anywhere in the world. It's highly liquid. Here are some of the world's most recognized refiners. Johnson Matthey, Argo Horaeus, Pamp Suisse, Val Camby, and Sovereign Mints such as the Royal Canadian Mint and Perth Mint. There are others, such as Sunshine Mint and Republic Metals. This is far from an exhaustive list. The easiest way to avoid getting ripped off is to buy a reputable brand, and if you buy a recognized hallmark, it will have all the proper stamping a pure gold bar should have. Tip number four, where to buy gold bars. Buy your gold bars from a reputable dealer only, one with plenty of positive customer ratings, a buyback policy, and no pushy salespeople. Perhaps the most important thing you can do is to buy your gold bars from a reputable dealer. A trustworthy dealer can provide sound education, help you avoid pitfalls, and steer you toward the best products for your needs. How do you know you're dealing with a reputable bullion seller? Look for these things. Number one, a strong Better Business Bureau or Trust Pilot rating. Give preference to those with lots of experience. Check for repeat customers. Buyers wouldn't return if they had a negative experience. By the way, if you see the Better Business Bureau or Trust Pilot logo on the dealer's website, don't assume it's legitimate because logos can be copied. Instead, go directly to the rating company's website and do a search for the dealer's listing. It's there you will find the truth about the dealer. Number two, find an educational dealer or website. The biggest tip off you're dealing with a sleazy dealer is if they promote only the most expensive products. For example, if they try to steer you away from gold bars and into rare coins, which have much higher markups. Trust your gut here. If the dealer doesn't feel right, there's plenty more to choose from. A good example is goldsilver.com's commitment to education through our popular YouTube series, The Hidden Secrets of Money. Number three, look for larger dealers that have strong volumes because they will have greater flexibility. A small dealer, in contrast, may have limited product selection or be unable to fill a large buy or sell order. Also, consider how long the dealer has been in business. It's not a guarantee of safety, but generally, the longer they've been around, the more satisfied customers have been. Number four, a buyback policy. Will the dealer repurchase what you buy from them? If they don't have this policy in place, I suggest you shop elsewhere. Not only do you want the dealer to still be around when you need to sell, you want some kind of guarantee that you won't get stuck without a ready buyer, though any dealer should buy a gold bar from you. There's another advantage to a buyback policy. These dealers tend to give customers who've bought from them the best resale price. Number five, dealers that offer multiple forms of payment. Most dealers will accept a check or money order or cash if you buy from a local shop. Bank wires and credit cards come with extra cost, though the convenience is hard to beat. Some dealers now offer PayPal, Bitcoin, and other digital means. Regardless of payment, keep in mind that online dealers will wait until your payment clears before they ship your order. Number six, an online store. Once you've identified some reputable dealers, consider the advantages of ordering online versus a brick and mortar store. It's quick and easy, it's inconspicuous, it can be done any time of the day, and allows you to lock in your market price at the precise time you want to buy. And, believe it or not, many online dealers are cheaper than your local shop even after paying for shipping since overhead is generally much lower. Number seven, vault storage programs. As your stash grows, you'll want to consider not keeping all of it at home. Does the dealer offer a reputable storage program with built-in security features? Number eight, an IRA program. 
Putting some gold bars in your IRA is wise if you think inflation is a threat. The more established dealers offer gold IRA investing. As you consider your dealer choices, keep in mind that the lowest price isn't necessarily the best choice. If you see a dealer that has lower prices than everyone else, it could mean they're not observing best practices for the industry. We know of one dealer, for example, that had lower credit card fees than anyone else, and that's most likely because they didn't have proper insurance coverage on credit card purchases. You want a competitive price, but watch out for dealers that are below the rest of the market, since it may mean they're skimping on proper consumer protections. If you're new, I suggest you compare three dealers. Be sure to compare total cost, commission, credit card, or bank wire fees, and shipping and insurance. And consider that cost isn't the only factor when buying gold bars. Ease of ordering, delivery promptness, customer service, buyback policies, and proper consumer protections are all important considerations. One effective method for first-timers is to buy from two different dealers so you can compare service, delivery, and cost. It also provides you with two vetted sources for future purchases. Gold bars are one of mankind's most definitive forms of money. They're a tangible asset, are highly liquid, and will protect your portfolio from financial crises. We believe that, at this point in history, owning gold bullion is a wise move.